you know, to continue building on this, Joanna, I've heard you talk a lot about um, what you refer to as the holistic approach to applications. And there's a number of areas that you think are key, super important. And, uh, and maybe another way to look at that is, is uh, pillars of success that are essential um, in this whole holistic approach to applications to U.S. colleges and universities. Can you give us some more information on what are these pillars and what are the essentials? And for all of you watching today, these are writer downers. These will definitely help you. So we, as mentioned, we need to look at the three sort of part equation to apply to an American university and one being the academic record. So that, that's key. Um, most of the students that are applying to the American universities do spend quite a bit of time making sure that their academic record is sound. So looking at that grade 9 to 12 uh, transcript and translating it into a GPA. If you're attending a school that offers an IB program, International Baccalaureate, or the school is offering AP, Advanced Placement courses at your school, great. Are you taking advantage of those opportunities at your school? Because the American universities are looking at you in context. So don't worry about what's happening at the school down the street. Look at your, your particular school situation and are you taking advantage of those academic opportunities being offered? So that's critical and, and, and important. Um, aside from the academic record, we talked about the standardized tests. So the PSAT is a preliminary SAT examination. Most of our Canadian students are not familiar with the PSAT, uh, but some of the independent schools will offer it to their students who are in grade 10 primarily to be taking this exam in the, in the fall. Usually it's offered once a year in October. And this is just a snapshot of what's to come on the bigger examination. So that's the PSAT. Keeping in mind that the PSAT is an unofficial examination and it doesn't really count. However, why would someone want to take the PSAT? The PSAT is an opportunity to really step into these sorts of standardized tests. It's also an opportunity for students to um, showcase themselves a bit from a marketing perspective because what happens is the American universities in seeking students who may be interested in going to American universities will look to sometimes those who have written the PSAT. So if you write the PSAT and you do well and you um, put that on your, your application as you move forward, so that will play a, an important part in the process. If you don't write the PSAT at all, it's not going to count against you. So in the early years, students are often asked about if the PSAT is something that they should and sh or should not do. And it's not something that will, um, you know, be a detriment to your application if you don't do it, but it's an option there for you to take should you be generally, uh, we see students taking it in grade nine or 10, okay? As American citizens, if you're an American citizen, taking the PSAT in your grade 11 year would open up the opportunity to apply for what's called the National Merit Scholarship. So that's, that's the piece that the SAT is an important piece that I know that we're going to talk about a little later. And um, ACT being another examination and SAT subject test. Okay, so that's the standardized test piece. And the third pillar we talked about was the one that addressed the person. So when you're applying to an, uh, an American university, and completing these applications, if you haven't done so, you should have a look at the application commonapp.org. And, and Charmaine, I think we're going mm -hmm. to be putting that up exactly. in terms of our resources. So commonapp.org. So that is an application portal that's used by a great number of universities, about 900 or so member schools at the moment. There are over 4,000 options in the United States. But even if a particular school doesn't use the Common App and maybe uses their own application or like in the California system, they have their own UC application, you need to realize that a lot of the questions that are being asked are very similar. So the earlier you, you jump into understanding what's involved in the application, the better off you'll be in planning towards um, 
you know, achieving those particular goals. And we can mm. talk a little bit more about that. 